last guest well. They're a huge pop sensation currently on a sold out tour with Miley Cyrus. Please welcome the Jonas Brother. Can I, uh, uh, Nick? Yes. And uh, Kevin? Joe. Oh, Joe, yes. And, and Kevin. Kevin, yes. Nick, Joe, Kevin. Yes. All right. Ellen. Uh, yes, I'm Ellen. Hi. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, and, and how did this all get started? Because this is crazy. You're huge. Do you know that? Oh. Uh -huh. Huge. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I, I mean, <laughs> you know, Ryan Seacrest, is, like, they're the, they're the Beatles. They're like, you know, hugely popular, people going crazy. And how did this get started? Uh, it's actually a crazy story. I was doing um, some Broadway shows at the time, and uh -huh. uh, Joe was in a Broadway show as well. And um, I recorded a song. Someone heard it at a record label, wanted to sign me. And um, you know, we started working on a solo project, and uh, we wrote a song, like the first song we ever written together. Uh -huh. And um, it kind of just became a group project out of that. We started, you know, touring and recording and doing all that. So you already played all the instruments, or did you go? Oh, we better learn something. I actually was uh, homesick from school for a week, uh -huh. and um, instead of watching The Price Is Right. Uh huh. Continuously, I um, picked up a Teach Yourself guitar book and actually never put the guitar down since. Really? Yeah. Wow. And I actually said I never would sing. Uh-huh. I was like, no, I was never going to sing. And then I ended up singing and uh, being on, on an opera. So it was really cool. Why didn't you want to sing? I don't know. Were I you guess shy? It just or? I guess it just wasn't my thing. I wanted to, like, I want to be that kid that filmed the skateboarders. Uh-huh. <laughs> That, that one that wore the clothes but couldn't skate. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then I realized that uh, <laughs> as Nick was singing, he got a lot of attention from the ladies, so I was like... Yeah. You, you get a lot of attention just being in the band. I mean, all uh, of you are, you know, obviously all the girls are, are crazy about all of you. Oh. And, and at the height of this, all of a sudden you realize that you have diabetes? Yeah. Type um, 1? We were uh, on a school tour, and um, it's one of those things where you're loading at like 2 in the morning, Sound check at three and play in front of a crowd of you know like middle schoolers who are like, what is this? At 8 a.m. you're like, let's go! Woo! Like, oh, we're all pumped up and <laughs> yeah. ready to rock, and they're not obviously. So you know we're we're on this tour and um, started to see like you know some weight loss and things like that and uh, bad attitude, um, all the symptoms of diabetes, but I had no idea. Uh huh. And uh, went to see a doctor when we had a you know break from the road and uh, told me that my blood sugar was over 700 and normal's like 70 to 120. Mm -hmm. So it was uh, it was pretty bad, but. Stayed in the hospital for, I guess, two, two nights, and um, you know, support of family and friends. And, and it's it manageable. You can, you can deal yeah. with that every single day, right? Yeah. That I can. Do and you it's... have to give yourself shots every day? Um, I actually moved over to a product after like six months of having to do shots. I moved over to the Omnipod. It's mm -hmm. like a, the first tubeless pump, and um, it like changed my life. It's unbelievable. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Well, obviously, it's not affecting your life. You're, you're going on <laughs> with it, and you're doing fine, and that's good for anybody else out there, any kids who have just discovered they've got anything like that. It yeah. doesn't slow you down. No. All right, Kimberly is here, and she's the one who said, uh, get them on the show. So, Kimberly, Thanks. come up and ask some questions. Come on up. On you, Kimberly, so you can ask some questions and uh, watch your hair. How are you um, doing, Kimberly? Good. <laughs> nice shirt. Thank you. So you're from Arizona? <laughs> yeah. Where in Arizona? Um, Lake Havasu City. Very cool. I was uh, actually born in Arizona. Yeah, I, I know that. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Look how for a second she pretended like she didn't know. She's like, oh, oh, oh yeah, I know. I don't know anything oh. about you boys. <laughs> All right, so what questions do you have for them? Okay, Nick, this one's for you. Yes. Um, when Miley Cyrus was on the show, she said that you were her favorite. So tell me, is she your favorite? Uh, you know, she's, she's, a, she's a cool girl. I think uh, we're just enjoying each other's company on the road right now and having fun. It's cool. Uh -huh. you, you're not settling down, you're not committing, are you? Uh, <laughs> no. Because your brothers just both looked away on that one, which to me was a telltale sign that you're together. I like Billy Ray. Yeah. Uh, is that your friend? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I've always been a Billy Ray fan. Uh -huh. We have a picture of him in our living room. Oh, uh, really? Billy Ray? Yeah. Don't tell him we said that. All right, no. be a little weird. No. That's a little awkward. No, yeah. but he'll see this, and he'll know, and it'll change the tour. Uh, <laughs> our next guest. 
are probably the most famous brothers on the planet right now. Please welcome the Jonas Brothers. Not only are you are you talented and cute, but I love the way you all dress. I oh, think well, that thank you. that the whole package, it's a whole good thing. Thank, thank you. you. All right, so this is insane. It just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. How does it happen? How, what, what are you doing? Our amazing fans. It really does. It's I think it's word of mouth. Mm -hmm. Every single time one person listens to the CD, they pass it to a friend or tell them about it, and I think it's just grown from there. And the tour was was fantastic, right? There's, yes. I think we have footage, footage of it the tour. It was awesome. Yeah. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of people. Oh, wow. Ooh, so that must that. be fun live for people to see you live because you they get this for how long? How long is the the concert? Uh, the con the tour the co on the Miley t concert it was like two hours. Uh -huh. so we, we we did one set of our own songs mm -hmm. and then she came on as Hannah uh -huh. and we come on and do a song with Hannah and then do two songs of ours mm -hmm. and then she, she goes on as Miley. Yes. Uh -huh. So it's a night of music for the kids. Uh huh. That was really awesome. And what do you do to in between shows? Do you play Guitar Hero and stuff oh, yeah. like that? Guitar we Hero. Have, we actually I will, have. A, I saw you playing. I could totally crush you. Yeah, I bet you can. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not afraid to say it. Are you are you on easy or medium? I'm on your level. I'm on easy. I'm awful actually. No, you're not. Oh yeah. He is. He's, he's, wow. He's and what are you on? I'm like on like what's below easy. <laughs> That's not playing the, at all. The yeah. menu button. Yeah. You know when you get yeah. to go yeah. up and down. I'm right. the and watcher. Really? And you? I'm just awful. I really? try to play the songs on the real guitar. And yeah. No, it's yeah. it's hard if you know how to play guitar because it, it is because there's more notes up. than there's actually being played. It's like doing eighth notes, which is like you know, da, 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 and then yeah. it's playing half time. I'm still on and it's hunt. off beat. Duck yeah. Hunt. Yeah. <laughs> Nintendo. Yeah. All right, and so uh, what what happened with uh, you? You broke up with uh, somebody recently, right? <laughs> Jessica Simpson. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Jessica, Jessica Simpson. Yeah. You broke yeah. up. Uh huh. Uh, Tony Romo is getting after us. Uh, <laughs> no. Well, what and and. What's what's with falling down all the time? Who's who's? Wow! Who, who keeps falling down? So you just you brought it up like that. Well, I'm just I'm just saying. <laughs> we um, it was on uh, on you know the American Music Awards, yeah. right? Yeah. What most people don't know is that that was real glass. Yeah, so that wasn't fell. like fake stuff. That yeah. was like not a smart knee. idea to have real glass. I mean, it was a smart we idea. Well, we, well, well, I did it, it that way more people would talk about it. I see. So did you get stitches or no? Um, I was supposed to. Now, um, I have actually a fake leg now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, no, I was supposed to stitches. They didn't, but actually you want to hear a funny you, story. Yes. Um, about two, uh, two weeks later, we were <laughs> filming a YouTube video and I fell and hit my face. <laughs> So yeah. So you're you're a little clumsy. Yeah, a little bit. All right, listen. I hate to cover up that hair because it's good hair, but it's more important that you stay safe. Oh boy. So what yes! we did. Yes. Oh, wow. That is. And it has a mic, so you know you can still. That is still... so good. Yeah. Do you have any knee pads also? We'll get your knee pads. Go ahead, put it on. Oh, you gotta put it on. Yeah. Wow, it's Look really snug. Yeah. It's gonna work. <laughs> All right, we'll get you some knee pads and a whole Ellen outfit. She's uh, really awesome. Yeah, that's great. So, so if I'm walking around LA, uh huh, you pick up some cute chicks. Uh huh. <laughs> that's the way you do it. All right, uh, so. <laughs> All right, we had, all the cute chicks are screaming now. We have to uh, take a break. Our first guests are the most popular brothers on the planet. Get ready, Orlando, and give it up for the Jonas Brothers.
Yeah, I tried to put it in there before you saw it, but... That's wonderful. He was smoking a cigarette or something. He's got a big hole in his mouth. I tried to put the grape in there. Yeah. It just didn't fit as well. It didn't. Yeah. Thank you for bringing me some fruit. Yeah. You're very welcome. You are always so thoughtful with the <laughs> gifts. I give you a titty bear. Oh, well, thank yes. you. That's the best titty bear I've ever seen. Yeah. All right, now... Mike, because I want to hear the answer to this, and, and I don't know if I'm going to hear you over the screaming. They're screaming all the time wherever y'all go, and when I go out at night and I hear music in my head, I lay down, I still hear that. Do you hear the screaming when you lay down? Um, you know, I was in my bed the other night, and um, all of a sudden I hear the screaming next door, and I'm like, you know, is that my imagination, or is that actually happening? And, um, you know, we, we called next door, and found out that they were having some type of party, but I was, I was freaking out, because it was like, I was home, I didn't expect it to happen, but I thought I was losing my mind. Don't they go to your home, though, and scream? They must find your home. They, they do. The other day, there was um, a couple girls came to our house, and they're like, hi, we're the girls that got you the flowers. <laughs> and me and Nick were like, oh, cool, thanks. And they're like, okay. I love you guys a lot. So they come to our house now, which is uh, kind of And you just answer different. the door? If, they, if the doorbell rings, you just go to the door? Well, the weird part is they just walk in now. They just think it's like totally cool to just walk. Like, oh hey guys. <laughs> so we were just talking about uh, the the rides. You you went on. I know you went on the Hulk because we have a picture of y'all on the Hulk oh, yesterday. Wow. Uh, Take a look. So you all look like you're having fun. No one looks scared really. Were you scared? Um. You know what? We were really scared. Wow. Uh, That's some hair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Um, as you can tell, I'm very scared. <laughs> <laughs> you don't look scared. No, do you all like the rides? It was awesome. Which one do you so like the best? Um, the Hulk is good. I, the Spider-Man ride was incredible. Do we have footage of it? I love rides. Yeah. They're phenomenal. Did you do the Dueling Dragons? Um, yeah. You know what? I actually had to sit that one out. Yeah. Um, Frankie couldn't um, ride because of a height issue. Uh -huh. So I hung back with him and we hung, we hung out. So oh, that's cool. sweet of you. Yeah, that was That's cool. very kind of you. I, I would purposely not do it. I've done it before. It's scary, though. It's very, very scary. I've never done that before, so no. it's cool. Hey, I was reading um, Teen Bop last night in my room. And uh, it said one of your top moments so far is being on my show. It is. It is. It is? Oh, cool. Then the follow-up question, the follow-up question is, how many songs that you wrote have been inspired by me? Oh. <laughs> the question is, what song isn't inspired by me? Wow. Smooth. That was a good one, Nick. That was a good one, Nick. Smooth. Yep. I like it. That's almost, that's almost as good as the line, you know, um, you know, the library card line. Have what's, you ever heard that one? What's well, that? Joe, you, you say it best. Showgirl, I got my library card and I'm checking you out. Oh. You like guys that. are gonna get the girls that way. <laughs> now, it said in one of these magazines too, I can't remember because I'm subscribing to all of them, but it said <laughs> that you would date a fan. Would you, would you, how, would you date a yes. fan? Yes. Yes. We hope that the person we do date is like our biggest fan, you know, that they're on the side of stage rocking out and uh -huh. singing and dancing. And what do you look for in, in, in a woman? What are, you, what are you looking for? Um, she needs to be at least 12 feet tall. No, I'm joking. Um, she, someone who can definitely handle our busy schedule, um, knowing that even if we don't like call or text until like three o'clock in the morning, because that's the first time we get off or, you know, we're able to call, it doesn't mean we didn't think about you like all day long, you know? So. Aww. Or they were with somebody else. But anyway. <laughs> Her mom. Joe, what? Oh, um, she has to be, I would say, well, it helps if like, she can like, fly somewhere to see you and like, go to concerts. And she likes roller coasters. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. she, might have have she might have to have her own talk show called Ellen. Yeah. That's a good one. What about you, Nick? Um, I think I agree, you know, understanding is, is really important. Um, 
and also just someone who's you know intellectual. It's good. You have deep conversations. All right. I will be doing the interviewing process for you a little later on today. I'm going to find well, you somebody. You. Each one of you. Yeah. All right. So you're going on tour this summer. Yeah. Yes. And uh, and also, did you just did, did you recently perform at the White House? We did. Um, we performed at the White House, and it was really cool. The president said he liked my shoes. I'm wearing them today, actually. He said he liked my pink shoes. He leaned over and said, I like them shoes, Joe. <laughs> and that was really exciting. And uh, it was really cool. We did the Easter egg roll, mm -hmm. and, um, and we just were honored to be there. It was so cool. Oh, that's great. Yes. Well, you're, I, you're just, you just are blowing up. Every single time I see you, you I, I think you can't get bigger. And yet Thank you, you so get much bigger for having me on the show well, so many I times. Just, I love you. And you know, the thing is, you really are, you, what you're seeing is that that's who they are. They're really nice, genuine guys, which I like a lot. Next guests are quite possibly the most famous brothers in the world. They've had the number one CD for two weeks in a row. Please welcome the Jonas Brothers! But you, you guys play our music, so we kind of feel awkward dancing to our own music. Oh, really? Yeah. So if we played different music, you would dance? And we're uh, stopping we, you from dancing because it's your own music? It's like, oh, that's our voice. We've been practicing. Uh-huh. Well, we, we'll play something different so that you can dance, because everybody wants to see you dance. Yeah. <laughs> Did you make that up? Uh, I'm a puppet. I'm the a puppet. Foot, the foot string. I like that. Thank That's you. actually something I will use. I will steal it from you and I'll use it. Yes. I will tell you. I, I, and I said it backstage, by the way. You, you don't know what these guys went through to get here. Last night they were in, I, I don't know, Indonesia or someplace. You were like, where were you? State we're in College, Penn Penn State, Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania, same thing. And you were, you were <laughs> Penn State, uh, Indonesia. Far away, got on a plane, very little sleep, and and you're. Uh, thank you for being here. That was very sweet. You didn't have thank to do that. It's always fun to come here. Love coming here. What? All right. And so, how? Because and I and I see you as you know. You keep just getting just huger and huger and more and more famous, and you're still the same guys. And the first time I met you, I thought you were grounded. And now you're even more famous, and you're the same guys. How do you, how do you remain grounded? Who's keeping you that way? I think it's probably your parents, most of all, and each other. I mean, each other it really helps one. big time. Uh huh. Yeah. Like Nick and Joe even share a room on tour still. You know, it's not like, oh, I have my own assistant and I need my own room. It's, no, we all hang out. We're best friends. And, you know, we're we're just normal guys. You know, we're, we're not perfect, and we're not saying that, but we're just. Uh, Living every day as it comes, and uh, trying to do our best to make our mom proud. Do, doing your best to make your mom proud is that what you said? That's yes. so sweet. Yeah. <laughs> That's so sweet. Because, like, you're on stage and people are going nuts and screaming, and you're thinking to yourself, "My mom is watching this." Is that what you think? She gets choked up sometimes. That's. I bet she does. I mean, look what. Look at you. She, uh, wow. She has visions of us. Like, she watches us on stage, and she'll have flashbacks to us running around in diapers, she says, on stage. And I go, uh -huh. that would not be a good look, Mom. No, no, uh, <laughs> no. She shouldn't be picturing that at all. Yeah. Now, now we're going to do it, thanks. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so you've got the CD, you're touring, you're, yes. uh, you're, uh, you're busy. I mean, like I said, you, you've squeezed this in, and I appreciate it. Thank you. And somehow, you're all still managing to date. And I don't know how you have time to date, but uh, let me just tell you, you are. And uh, Kevin. <laughs> really? Really? You're dating someone, I know that for a fact. Some beautiful girl that someone told me about. I don't have her picture, and I'll get it. Don't See? you think I won't? Because I'm dating. Well, but look, he goes for the water because he knows we're going to talk about him. Joe, we got. <laughs> There's a picture. You're trying to sneak around with Taylor, but we like her a lot. We're very happy for you. We think that that's a good thing. All of us voted. We talked about it earlier. 
right? This water's really Nick? good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you're dating somebody as well? I am loving life. Uh -huh. it's just... <laughs> Life is good. Uh, well, good. I'm glad you're you're having a, a full, well-rounded life. Because you should. You it much. shouldn't all be about work. You should actually get to play and no, do stuff like that. Now, do you play ping pong? Do you all get? Because we talk oh, about. Oh, we yeah. get. It, yeah. It's There's a pool table in the in the. Uh, we were the first room. to use it. Congratulations, by the way. Th thank you. Yes, did you play the pool back there? We did, and we I won, of course. Oh, really? Uh, <laughs> they yeah. play against me, so there's really no competitor. Now, when you say, say you said, I, of course, because your nickname is the president, right? It is. Yeah. Now, yes. because of... Will you vote for me? Uh, maybe someday, sure. Oh, okay. Uh, 2038 is actually... Would yeah. you like to... And you're both registered, right? Yes, Good we are. Good for you. Good for you. That's great. It's so, a big deal to us. It's a, yeah, it is a big deal. Finally, by far, the hottest co costume this year has got to be the Jonas Brothers. It doesn't matter. You could be Kevin, you could be Joe, whoever you think you look the most like. We have a really good look-alike. Come on out. The, uh, this is Nick Jonas. <laughs> Tell me that, and um, I, don't, I don't know what to say. I yeah, mean, like, exactly like him. That's amazing. <laughs> wow. It's pretty strange. Does it feel weird? I, do you need a hug? You feel like you're alone. I never see you alone. That, that's what I was saying. I, was, I feel the pressure now to like deliver yeah. some comedy because that's usually Joe's uh -huh. deal, and yeah. I just kind of sit back and try to look serious all the time. Uh huh. So, so you just have to laugh at anything I say so that I feel better. Uh -huh. you know, <laughs> Stick around because uh, you have another little surprise for somebody in the audience, right? We do. All right, we'll be right back. We're back with Nick Jonas, and uh, you're going to help us out with Breast Cancer Awareness Month, but there's also November is something very special. You want to tell people what you're doing here? Yes, uh, November for me is very special, very close to my heart. I'm a type 1 diabetic myself. So, um, you know, trying to raise awareness and, and let people know that November is Diabetes Awareness Month. And uh, one of the things we're doing is actually, uh, let me show you, I'll pull okay. it out. I never thought I'd use this, this pocket right here, but I just found use for it, so let's laugh. That's, um, <laughs> that's, yeah, that's, be yeah, that's better. No, they did think it was funny. Yeah, yeah I thought yeah. so. You can't tell yeah. people to laugh. I'm it's sorry. Just, I'm, I'll, I'll, all right, I'll laugh. do better next time. Like, I'm going to try that from now on. <laughs> laugh. Yeah, yeah. It's good. It was a good try, though. Go ahead. All right, so this is um, something we're doing. It's basically, I wear a dog tag, and what we're trying to do is just basically raise awareness, and then try to be an encouragement and inspiration to these kids who feel very alone when they first get diagnosed. And I uh, just want to thank all of you so much for all your support, and uh, everyone out there who's watching, you guys are amazing. That's fantastic, Nick. Yeah. Awareness. Let's meet who you're going to dunk. Where's Stephanie Huesco? Hi, Stephanie Hi. Huesco. Hi, how are you? Good. Hi, come on over here with us. Uh, where do you live? What do you do? I live in Fresno, California, and I go to school, and I'm a hostess. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, where are you a hostess? Give it a plug. I have a restaurant. Oh, great. There's a restaurant. <laughs> great. Yeah. Laugh. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> See, that now it's funny. Now it's funny. Now it's funny. Now it's See? See, so yeah, you just you have to just keep to doing there. it. All right, for every person we dunk in our dunk tank this month, Microsoft and Windows Mobile has donated ten thousand dollars. And uh, you want to get on in? Okay. All right. <laughs>
requested that song. I love that I song. Love that song. We're so huge much. Rick Astley fans. I love that when song. When he was on the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, oh, we freaked out a little bit. Like, I jumped out of my. I was in my seat. pajamas. I was like, yes. He was. He was. He, he was on, the, out, like, he was was on a Cartoon Network float. Oh wow, I didn't know that. That was a little odd, but the whole he just popped out. They're like Rick Astley. He came out of the corner. Everybody was like, wow. And was he singing that song? Yeah. He did. You I, got a I know what I love about the entire thing, though. The voice never matched the body. No, it's very deep. It's very, very like, deep. the video you know, very burly man. Awesome. And, right. And he's like, redheaded, like, hey. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I love him so much. Now, let's talk about you, okay? What, okay. A, what an amazing few months you've had. Look, there's, you just, and I say this every time I see you, but it doesn't seem like it can just grow and, and, and get better and better, but it is. It's just, you Thank know. You. Well, I've been bragging because we saw each other more recently than they did, so I feel extra special. Yes, <laughs> yes. Oh, well, yeah. You were here last yeah. time. I was. That was fun. And you I was so tank. frustrated with myself about not being able to hit that target the first time that I actually went into training for a... Uh, it's actually not for anything, but I went into training. <laughs> um, no injury. I, I, I've been throwing wiffle balls now. Like super I, I asked if they had any wiffle balls here in, in a radar gun, which you know, usually have just. Why? What, what do you do with it? Because I can get the balls to balls 73. So fast. I can get up to 73 miles per hour. He's clocked it. A plastic wiffle ball at 73 miles an hour. And so I, I got I'm so determined. We're on the set of our show. First of all, you're lying. That no, can't I, be. I promise. No, it is amazing. It's, it's like it's unreal. It's fact. I've seen it happen. Throw the gun myself. No. Put that down. So, so really, you decided to start throwing balls? Well, to... we're we're on the, the TV show now, the Jonas show that we're right. doing, and um, I've had a lot of free time in my hands. Uh -huh. So a lot of breaks. I'll, I'll just I'll just go and I, I thought to myself, what can I do to waste the time? And because I was so frustrated that I messed it up so bad, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do it. So I, I started training, and everybody's like, what are you training for? For a role? I was like, no, just. Because. Just because I want to throw a wiffle ball <laughs> 73 miles balls. an hour. I wish that we had some way to, uh, to we don't have a gun or a clocker gun. <laughs> gun. Or... I hope not. Oh, what? wow. Sweet. All right. We That's have a wiffle amazing. ball. All right, back wall. All right, is this everybody good? Back wall. OK, right. run. Throw it that there. That one right there. Right. Yeah, it's, and pretty, it's pretty awesome. If you awesome. break something, it's OK. You... No, 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 no. Back wall, back wall. Seven. No, yeah. no, that was like 105. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe 110. Yeah. yeah. No, that was fast. I know that for sure. Well, thank you. We I... can probably try it, slow it down in slow motion and figure it out you know in increments of we time. We were all kind of, we had um, like, you know, shots yesterday from our doctor to make sure we stay healthy and stuff. So my arms a little, that's why I wasn't going as fast as <laughs> <laughs> Stay healthy. God, y'all yeah. are constant. You were just on the Grammys a, yes. about a week ago. You did, and you performed with Stevie Wonder. How amazing Huge was that? Huge honor. That was, mm -hmm. um, you know, I'm sure as you can imagine, a little nerve wracking. But at the same time, you felt way more comfortable performing with him. Yeah. Because it's like, yeah, so it's, awesome. You know, although, the, uh, although we didn't win Best New Artist, I think the win for us was being able to perform with our idol. Definitely. And then yeah. to see the the reaction from the crowd, you know, it's like. Paul McCartney. Paul McCartney standing up with like, Dave Chris Grohl. Martin. Chris, They're all was, like jamming out to your we, music. It was and amazing. It's like, it just, you have to take a picture in your mind and be like, this is actually happening. Well, doesn't yeah. that intimidate you, though? If you're on stage, number one, with Stevie Wonder, and then you're looking out in the audience and you see all these amazing Paul McCartney and, and Chris Martin, does that make you nervous or do you just... We had a great weekend. You know, I think the moment that we were, like, blown away was when we were at the, the you know, the Clive Davis party that happens every year. And they go, oh, Paul McCartney's here. And he stands up and we're like, whoa. And then Prince. And, and then Sly, Sly Stone. Stone. And Al Green. And you're just like... Am I supposed to be in this room right yeah. now? Yeah. I'm <laughs> such an awful musician. <laughs> I know. <laughs> wow, they are. So, yeah. You know, and it's, it's it's really it was just an amazing, humbling weekend. And so yeah, fun. and then before that, then you perform at, at the White House mm -hmm. for for the oh, little Obama to girls. Thanks yeah. to you. Yeah, you're yeah. welcome. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, how amazing was that? Very good. That's how awesome. cute are those little girls? They're the best. Adorable. It was it was amazing. We Wait, tell people what you did because this is adorable. We um we, first we did the kids inaugural and that was a lot of fun and then. They, they called us, I think, the day of, and they asked us, they were doing a scavenger hunt for the daughters in the White House. Mm -hmm. And so we were in the last room, one of the big ballrooms, and um, it was really big, it was kind of spooky, because you have all these, like, presidents, pictures on the wall, and you're just, they're just staring at you. And um, you're like, come on, I'm Do me the right thing. <laughs> exactly. And then they, were, they, they walked in with all their friends and didn't expect it at all, and we surprised them and played some and songs And there was just, like, them. this screaming in the White House. And 
and like the every Secret, Secret Service, Service was like, there should not be screaming in the White House. They don't, they, they don't know what to do with that. <laughs> and, uh, like, and, uh, you know what? Because the staff does say the same uh, in the ho in the home. Of course, the administration changes, but um, the staff does say the same. They're so excited to have kids back in the White House. Yeah. So I think we all are. I mean, there's an energy in that that house now that, and that's so cool it's that you really did cool. that. Yeah, because we've been there before when um, there wasn't any kids in their age there, and then like now it's like it's such a it's a crazy a great feeling. Like mm -hmm. you hear like the screaming and the laughing, and you're like, whoa. Yeah. It's just it's amazing. Really okay, cool. wait a minute. So so I just realized Nick threw the wiffle ball, and I know that you both of you have hidden talents that oh, we're yeah. supposed to be looking at, but I... Joe takes a minute. I can sit, my, sit right here and do mine. All right. Do you have to walk away for a minute well, to prepare? I just, well, I just, like, I don't know what it was. I think I went to the circus one year, and that guy with that crazy huge hair that balances stuff, um, I can balance stuff pretty well. Which, which circus is that? Um, Ringling Brothers, Ringling, Barnum and yeah. Bailey. The, the, he has a large hair. That yeah, he the orange the hair, right? Orange hair. You know like, what we're talking about? Crazy. Oh. He's actually come to our concerts, and oh. he's invited us to his compound. Where he's like, I can teach you to like shoot out of cannons, and we're like, yeah. we want to go. Yeah, yeah, you <laughs> should do that on stage. There's a cannon that you could shoot out of. All right, you're house. gonna go prepare for that, and then Kevin's gonna yeah. show us. Uh, awesome. Okay. Okay. What go do you prepare. do? Okay. So, so I, which camera? Which camera? Here we go. Um, I'm double jointed in every finger, so like that. You can see how the tips yes. of each finger is bent. Yeah. But I'll do it this way. But um. Put it back. <laughs> Are you ready? There you go. Do you do, is that just your hands, or are you, can you do all kinds of... There you go. Ah, yummy. Yeah. yeah. Can you, are you and very this flexible, one too? too? One. Ready? Right. Oh, that's a... No. Oh. He's doing his... Yeah! Nails. He's cheating with his little I'm nails. I'm trying to buy time for Joe. All right. Here Joe. we go. Joe's ready. What are you doing? Here's the really cool thing. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Blindfolded musical chairs ever blindfolded. with the Jonas. Blindfolded yes. musical chairs. All right, so the Jonas Brothers uh, are, are going to play blindfolded musical chairs. All right, let's leave time for the game. Toriana Neville. That? Where's Toriana Neville? Aren't you excited? <laughs> Have you seen this game before? Yes. It's fun, right? Yeah. All right, get your blindfold ready. And uh, you're still gonna lose. Isn't it? Oh my God, no. All right, put that on. Yes. Put oh, that on. Crazy eyes. Put that on. Whose eyes are these? Yes. Oh my God. It does that? not. No, those are not mine. Those are not your eyebrows. Those are not like, mine. Uh, okay. Okay. Are these your eyebrows? Step no. back a little bit. Try to, <laughs> try to feel funny. the difference of being on the mat, being off the mat, so right. you don't go off the mat. Okay. All right, go That's back. That's what Jim always says. All Are right. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. No cheating, Kevin. Okay. I'm no sorry, cheating. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. All right. So oh, you, keep, like... you keep walking around until the music stops, and then you sit down. All right. Stop Can trying I... to cheat, Kevin. I'm not All right. cheating. Music Such a starts, cheater, Kevin. You're music, a cheater, Nick. When the music stops, you sit down and don't go off the mat. Go. Maybe. That's oh, no, hard. you're not. That's weird. All right, put that back on. All right. 
You this get is to watch. awesome. You get to watch now. All right. Wow. Keep your blindfold on. Stand up. Look at Joe's eyes. Stand oh. up. All right, we're taking one away. All right. We're taking one away. Go. I thought I hit her. I was like, no, no, no. <laughs> she won because she got to play with you. You boys get Ellen underwear Valentine's Day. Yes. Ellen underwear. You're getting. Yes. You're getting, you're getting two tickets to go see the Jonas oh concert this summer. And a full video camera so you can videotape it, all right? All right. Well, all right, people, enough fun and games. Let's get to the fun and games. We're going to play America's favorite drawing game. Pictionary! We need for someone, on someone for Ellen to cheat against. Oops, I mean compete with. You know them, you love them, we love them. Please welcome the Jonas Brothers! <laughs> Seen each other in a while. What's going on? It's been a long time. Well, we took a little time off to do some things on our own. Uh, Kevin's been doing a show with his wife. Which oh, I know. I know. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're back now. We got a couple shows here in LA this week, and, and we thought we'd stop by and play some Pictionary with you. Yes. Well, thank you. And here is how we play. All right, folks. We got rid of the markers and the paper, and we have gone green with our digital wall. You guys are gonna draw up there, and your okay. team will guess from here, and the team with the most points at the end wins. Go we team. will start with a little drawing that I whipped up earlier. Uh, the first team to correctly identify the drawing will get 50 points and control of the board, which means you will go first. And here we go, I'll give you a little okay. hint. It's a movie. And here we go. Hands on buzzers. Whoop. Whoa. What is that? Hey now. <laughs> no guesses yet? Come Pinocchio. on. Yes, uh, Kevin and Joe. Pinocchio. You are absolutely Woo! correct. Come on up here. It's a 45 second round. You get as many answers as you can correctly. You get 100 points for each okay. answer in our 45 second round. Okay. Joe. 45 seconds, be smart with your time. All right, cool. <laughs> All right, team number one, here is your word. You, no peeking, all right. Here is your word, it's a thing. Ready, oh. set, draw. This is horrible. No, it's not. Milk carton. Um, what is that? Not bad. Take a guess, just guess, guess, uh, guess. Bowling pin. There you go, fantastic. That is the correct answer. Uh, you had 100 points on the board, which gives you 150 points, all right? Now let's switch, wow, guys. Perfect. You're drawing, you're guessing. Awesome. It might be a bad drawing, but I got points. You are drawing a word, or I'm sorry, you are drawing a song, and here is your song. I'm sure you're familiar with it. <laughs> all right. All right. Um, you have 30 seconds left on the clock. Draw. 
Um, it's a song. A cloud. Good. Um, raindrops keep falling on my head. Um, it's raining men. Yay! <laughs> Your next Pressure's word on. is a thing, all right? A okay. thing. And there is the thing, all right? Oh. Ready, set, draw. It's a thing. Um, dog bone. Dinosaur bone. Um, no words. Oh. No words! Uh, this is horrible. Five. Like caveman? Four. Um, bone? Pac-Man? Time. Just for fun. I forgot you can't do words. Oh, yeah, you can't do words. What if you put a big smiley face? It kind of looks like Pac-Man for some reason. It does kind of look like it. Anyway, yeah. it's Funny Bone. Oh. It, it, funny bone. Close. All right, go back to your corral. Team number two. Yeah, you want to go first? Nick, you're guessing. Oh, okay. boy, I'm I nervous. You, that, I really did not expect y'all to get that many. OK. <laughs> OK, uh, so we have team number one over here. These guys have 250 points. Yeah. All right? I so you need, uh, you need three to uh, take the lead, all right? We have so to do it as quickly as possible to have enough time. Perfect. Exactly. Come on, Nick, don't fail me. I'll, I'll okay, do my best. best. Here is your thing. There, your, your picture is a thing. Can you see that? Yep. Okay. Yep. Can I have 45 seconds on the clock? Ready, set, draw. Wedding cake. Oh, yep. Fantastic. Oh. Hey, watch it. No talking smack between each other, OK? All right, here's your thing. All right? OK, we've got 40 seconds on the clock. Ready, set, draw. It's a thing, right? It's a thing. OK. Slow-mo. Just a door. <laughs> oh, he's not good at this. Um. You're not very good at this, are you, Nick? Okay, just make slower. some strong choice. Yeah, do it slower, please. <laughs> you had 15 seconds left, dude. You're really behind. Meticulous. Parachute! No. <laughs> Seven, <laughs> six, five, five, four, three, yes. two, one. Okay. Let's, let's talk for just a second here. Um, this is really good. <laughs> what is this? It's an iPhone. That is not an iPhone. <laughs> you said you played it before. Do you have an iPhone? I do. <laughs> All right, that was, was an awful round. All right. <laughs> that, that was an awful round. It was um, awful. In fact, you lost. It was so disappointing. And you didn't cheat once. So, ladies and gentlemen, our victors are uh, Kevin no. and Joe. 250 points, 100. Woo! All right. It's all right. Uh, Ellen? Yes. Me and you, mano a mano after this break. How does that sound? Oh, yes. We're, oh, yes. Terrific. I'd like to play Let's again. Let's do it. The Jonas right. Brothers, the Jonas everybody. Brothers. Thank you. You are having, we're back with Nick Jonas. You're having such a good year. Congratulations on all your success, Thank really. You. You're doing so much. fantastic. <laughs> You were nominated for American Music Award, Favorite Male Artist. Congratulations on that. You. You're doing fantastic. Um, so I don't, know if, I don't know if anyone knows this, probably not, but uh, I am your landlord. You yes, live in, you are. Uh, uh, you, and you're a good tenant. You pay rent on time. That's great. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. Um, it's, it's an amazing thing. Thanks for letting me stay in your house. It's great. I, have, uh, I left a lot of stuff there. And are you taking you care of it? I think so. There's no, there's no ring. I have everyone uh, that comes to my house uses a coaster, so there's no rings on the tables, which is good. No rings on tables. Th that I know of. We'll no, see. no spills on on sofas or anything. Nothing yet. Nothing on rugs. Uh, I'm so nervous though the whole time I'm there because I know I'm gonna come on the show and see you and you're gonna check in and if anything's wrong with the house. Yeah. It's bad. Well, it's really I bad. I got a healthy deposit, which is that's, that's gonna cover everything. <laughs> But I know you put like a little recording studio in one of I the did. rooms. That's yeah, great. Yeah, I changed it around a little bit. Yep. And you gave me a book backstage yep. at Ellen's home. And I feel, I've never felt more famous than actually having a house that's in the book. Yeah, so you're it's living really cool in thing. one of the, uh, yeah. my book that comes out next week, uh, I, it's a photograph of, of lots of my home. And, um, yeah, you made me feel very cool. Yeah, you live in Surreal, one of those Surreal, living places. in the house in the book. Yeah, it's bizarre. Yeah, but, it's yeah. really great. Um, so you're doing this. How, how is this happening? You're touring. You're doing uh, amazing music. You're in Scream Queens, and you're in Kingdom. You're two different shows. How is that? 
Uh, it's busy. <laughs> it's what it, I'm, I'm shooting Kingdom, which is the second season of that show, where I play a fighter. Uh, and then Scream Queens, this show, um, where I play a, a golf fraternity college kid. Um, <laughs> I was a little confused there. Uh, and it's great, you know, Ryan, working with Ryan Murphy on that show and, and my castmates in Kingdom and uh, getting to tour and do all that music stuff has just been a really amazing year. I'm yeah. Very fortunate. Yeah, you're doing really, really well. Well, congratulations on all that. And uh, I know that you went through a breakup recently, but you seem to be fine. You seem to be doing OK, right? Ish, yeah. I mean, you know, it's, it's an adjustment. Mm -hmm. I, was, I was with my, my ex for, for two years. And then when my life dramatically changed, you know, and I and, um, started touring and doing all these projects, uh, it, it was an adjustment kind of doing it alone. But, yeah. um, but it's good, you know, I, you I feel like. You don't seem to be alone. Yeah. <laughs> What makes you say that? Well, because there's someone who ends up being in the same city as you all the time, right. coincidentally. Anyway, um, <laughs> let's just, you're not alone, Nick. You'll, Never alone, I have you. No, uh, yeah. you'll always have me. You know, I have known you for a long time. A long time. Like a really, Since really... I had hair that consumed my whole face. Yeah. Yeah. It's you, all gone now. You've always been talented and adorable, and you continue. And I really am. I'm really proud of you, because you. it's a tough thing to transition from having fame that early on. And y'all were extremely famous. And then you took a little break, and you're just bigger and better than ever, and you're the nicest guy. So uh, good That's for lot. you for staying the same guy. That's important. So um, I want you to take care of the place. I, yes. I think you are taking care of the place. I'm trying. But I want to make sure you take care of the place, so I want to help you with that. We have uh, some coasters. We have the Ellen coasters oh, here. Perfect. And so you can take those uh, home with you. Not just my underwear, my yeah. Ellen underwear. Now you have coasters as well. See? So. And I'm sure you're taking care of the furniture, but just in case you're not, I had something made that That is perfect. Yeah. All right. I love it. Thank you. You're welcome. I, I can honestly say I've watched our first guest grow up on our show to become one of the hottest names in music. Please welcome Nick Jones. So uh, good to see you, and um, I was your landlord, and you decided to uh, evacuate the premises. No, I'm sorry. Where did you move? Who are you living with now? Uh, I'm living with Joe, actually. We just moved in together in, in Sherman Oaks. You and Joe are living together? Yeah, it's, it's very sophisticated over there, very adult. Uh, but yeah, we live together. I think it's nice for both of us to have that to come back to. You know, we're, we're both really busy. He's got his band, DNCE. Um, and so being able to come back and actually hang out and kind of decompress from you know the crazy years we're both having. Y'all are both doing really, really well. I mean, so both of you. Them. Do you think that you're going to then, like, his music is going to bleed into your ideas and your, your music is going to bleed in? Maybe you're going to start sounding alike. Maybe. We both actually, <laughs> in different times, total, without even realizing it, copied songs that haven't been released of each other. And it gets really uncomfortable when we come home, like, check out this song. We play it, and it sounds exactly like one that we've actually already released. Uh, so we just end up taking credit for each other's music anyway. It works well, out. Well, <laughs> but then you have to decide who is going to release Who's it gonna first. Who's going to do it, yeah. Yeah. Um, well, uh, right now we haven't run into any issues, but we'll see what happens. Yeah. So, and, uh, well, you're both gone all the time, too. So it's not yeah, like you're going to be lot. home at the same time. We, well, there are, there are times when we are. Yeah. Like and, today, for instance, we're actually home at the same time. And, and that's fun? Uh, it's great. It's nice to come back. You know, I... <laughs> Who's neater? I am, for sure. You're much neater. <laughs> oh, yeah. Does it definitely. bug you if he's not neat? Is he messy? No, I mean, I, but I definitely do grab things off the table if they're left out and put them away. And I'd be like, do you know where my phone charger is? Like, yeah, it ended up back in your drawer where it belongs. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Well, that's why he wanted you to live with him. I don't know why I'm you I'm actually his to... housekeeper. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Congrats on a great year, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> Here's your water. <laughs> no, <laughs> so you went to the to the Met Ball, right? I did, yeah. And how was that for you? You were you were chosen best dress. Congratulations! Oh, thanks. That's very cool. Very good. Thank you. Um, it's a fun night. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. For the people watching, first of all, because it's a fashion event, so you're dealing with people that really go above and beyond to be seen, uh, and so it's always very interesting. And then there's the stairs. 
So the stairs are dangerous. <laughs> and I, obviously, I, you know, I wasn't in heels. Uh, I didn't wear them this year. No. Um, but it's still really frightening, because I don't want to be that guy that stumbles up the stairs and looks like a real idiot. Because you know? it's bright. There's bulbs flashing, and there's you probably don't flashing. see. There's bulbs flashing. There's Beyonce. <laughs> and then there's Beyonce. Yeah. It's very exciting. Did yeah. you talk to Beyonce? I didn't, unfortunately. No? It looks like you were single. You were there by yourself. I was there by myself. Yeah. But, but I work, well, I work with Jay, People cheering so your loneliness. That's great. <laughs> You're really single right now? I really am. Yeah, I really am. <laughs> you don't believe me. You don't believe me. No. I'm just... So how's Kate Hudson doing? She's good? She's great. <laughs> um, yeah, it was great. We had a group dinner the night before the Met Gala. Uh-huh. With lots of people. Uh-huh. And she was there and I was there. Uh-huh. But it was a group. <laughs> Whatever. Um, <laughs> So, uh, and you and Demi Lovato. Yeah, I mean, so that's excited. a fantastic tour. And, um, I, and I know that you canceled uh, your dates in North Carolina um, because of the laws against gender issues. Yeah. And uh, first of all, I commend you for that. Bruce Springsteen did it, you did it. And I, did it. Um, it's, I, I assume it's hard because not everybody in North Carolina feels that way and yet they're getting punished because everyone's canceled, but, uh, canceling, but did you... Uh, how did you both come to that conclusion? Um, well, I think, you know, Demi and I had a, a lot of conversations together and with the team uh, about the best way to handle it. Because it, it's, it's just an incredibly frustrating situation overall. And, um, you know, we are very aware of our, our strong LGBT community fan base uh, and the support they've given us and, and the support we want to give them, you know. And this was a time where I feel like we said we have to make a bold statement and put our foot down and, and stand firm in something we believe in. Um, and so it's, it's unfortunate for the fans there and for us because we want to go play as many shows as possible. Right. But it's, in our minds, it's the right thing to do and hopefully our fans will stand united with us. And, um, yeah. hey, I'm sure they will. Good for you. Very cool. All right. So a little later in the show, uh, Nick is going to perform for us, which I always enjoy. I, I love your voice. I say that to Thanks. you all the time. And your, your songs, like one after another, just continue to be fantastic. Thank you. Um, but before he performs, he's going to play a little game we call Pie Face. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we're back with Nick Jonas. He's agreed to play Pie Face. He's going to need someone to play against. So this next guy has been eating a lot of cake lately, and it's time for him to eat some pie. So please welcome your roommate and brother from the same mother, Joe Jonas. <laughs> Really sneaky, considering we live together. Yeah. He's like, I'm gonna be in rehearsal today. Like, oh, yeah. I built a tunnel, yeah. stuck my way out. Yeah. All right, so uh, thanks for being here. And we've learned that you're very messy, that you leave things laying around. You know, I'm sitting backstage and hearing this yeah. all, and you know, it's not all true. <laughs> it's, about it's very uncomfortable to know now that backsta he was backstage the whole time. Yeah. Yes. Always. Now, Let's see now. how it is. This will make this a lot more fun when you leave. All right. Well, we don't, we're not going to, we never know who's going to do it. It depends on uh, if you uh, oh, we, we get know. unlucky. We know who's going to. All right, uh, get back there. Oh, All we right. have protection oh, yeah. yeah, you should take the oh, jacket wow. off. That's too nice. Thank you so much. You, you, you want to take the shirt off, you don't mess that <laughs> up. Oh, yeah. All right, Nick. You have a hit song called Levels. Where is the lowest point below sea level in North America? I mean, I literally have no guess. Yeah. So. It's Death Valley. Let me spin oh, of and course. I'll. Yeah. But now you know. Next time somebody asks you, it's Death Valley. Let yeah. me see how many times you're going to have to hit that thing. All right. It goes two. two. Just two. So. One. Did you hit it? I did. You have, to hit hit it. It. you have to, like, with your fingers. Yeah, one. <laughs> don't, don't back up. I'm not backing up. Two. One I more time. I have commitment issues, and this is Nick. <laughs> one more time. All right. Yeah. Joe, let's yeah. see his head is all the way through, which is how you play, Nick. 
Yeah, I'm really convinced. You anyway. live with Nick. If, Nick's, if Nick drinks five shots of tequila and you drink two shots, how many ounces are in a quart of Corona? <laughs> Alcohol. 32 ounces. Let me spin it. Oh, it's... It looks like a three. Four. four. One. This is definitely happening. No! <laughs> Nick, the Jonas Brothers were a famous trio. Another famous trio was the Three Musketeers. Spell Musketeers backwards. <laughs> you can't do that. He was uh, homeschooled too. S yep. R. Yep. E. Yep. E. Yep. T. Yep. E. Yep. Okay. Yep. Yes, that was right. It took too long? It took too long. Yep. <laughs> too bad. S-U-M. No, no I disagree. That's crazy. No, that's not fair. That's cheating. <laughs> oh, he got, he spelled it backwards. That's, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> Joe, in Sweden, people celebrate the solstice by eating the first strawberries of the season. What band says strawberry feels forever? Sings it. The Beatles. Yes, that's right. Uh -oh. There's no more questions. for your charity beyond type awesome. one. All right. I'll hold it while you give them some more pie. All right, we're back with Nick Jonas. I love that song so Thank much. You. Don't you love that song? Thank you, it like it just came out a few days ago. It's gonna be a monster hit. You just I keep so. churning them out. That's the goal. Yeah, who is it about? <laughs> Let's get into it. Okay. Uh, no, actually, I wrote this song. I was at Coachella, mm -hmm. uh, and I was with some friends, and we were trying to find a stage we wanted to go to and, and jam out to. I ended up at the rave tent for a few hours, uh, dancing and having fun, much like the vibe here. Yes. Uh, and I went to see the next couple days and, and said, what if I took a house beat and dance music approach but did it to a pop song? And it's actually just as much about finding out who I am and, and being OK by myself first as it is about finding somebody. Um, so that's the answer. All right, I don't believe you, but um, <laughs> no, I do believe you. It's it's a great song. I really love Thank it. You. And uh, you just turned 25. You had a birthday did. recently. What yeah. did you do to celebrate? I did a few things. Um, I went and played a show at Angel Stadium after the game. I'm a big baseball fan, so I got to meet Albert Pujols and his family, uh, take batting practice, and I hit a home run out of the stadium, which felt very cool. What? It was amazing. It was a highlight of my life. Oh my God! Have you ever uh, done that before? No, no, I, I, I've never been able to get it out before, but this time. I got one out and it was, it was a big moment. So I might be quitting music to go pursue a career. Yeah. We, yeah. Uh, but then I went to Disneyland the next day with some friends. Uh, Joe came out, my brother Joe, and a bunch of our friends. And we did the, kind of the adult Disney World, Disneyland. Yeah. Know, so which, that just means we drank some wine. And yeah. Had a good time. So you drank wine and then went on rides? Bad choice. I wouldn't advise it. No, didn't, that's didn't, didn't, didn't. not a good choice at all. So you're, you're filming in Montreal right now. You're yes. filming a movie. What's the name of the movie? It's called Chaos Walking. Uh, Montreal's a great city, very French. Yes, it is very French. Uh, so I'm, I'm trying to get better at French. What do you have so far? Someone asked me, how's your French? I said, depends on who I'm talking to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so say you're talking to somebody uh, that you want to impress. What would you say? Bonjour. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I've seen Beauty and the Beast, I know yeah. that much. Yeah. All right, you need, you need something more. I know uh -oh. you're in Montreal and you have to look the part, so I got you a beret. Oh, perfect. Um, because you love hats. I do love See hats. How this looks this is on great. You. Yep. Here we go. And then you can also, hold on, we have to make Please sure adjust, that this yeah. part shows. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> we have to show that. There we go. There. Bon All right, chanté. that's good. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. It looks really good. 
Please welcome the Jonas Brothers. down on you. I thought oh, we were going to... I felt it. I know. I, I, I saw I you want to do it, and then you stuck with the brothers. I missed the memo. Sorry. Uh, well, you we didn't really rehearse it. I just thought we, we didn't. were in tune. You know what it is? It's that you haven't visited me sooner than this, and we're out of sync. You're it's right. true. It's been far too long. Yeah, because you've gotten back together, uh, like, uh, how long ago? A uh, year and a half, I guess. A year and a half. Well, no, no. I mean, we announced it back in March. Right. So it hasn't right. been that long. Right, I know. And we did hear that you were upset that it's taken this long. Very upset together. because I feel sorry. responsible for your career. You are. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> you are, in fact, responsible for our entire career. Now, I'm very, very, I'm happy. I mean, it's so weird. I mean, you look back on, I'm sure you are used to seeing, like, old footage of yourself. I see things and I'm frightened of what, what I look like. But um, but it's, yeah. it's amazing, Same. right? To, to a lot of hair all around. There was yeah. A, yeah. So much hair. That was hey. emotional back there. We watched the clip you just showed. It's been a long ride. Right. Look at that. That was, I mean, our, that was our first platinum record that you gave to us. It, yeah. That was my point of why you haven't been here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, no, so many memories here on you know, this stage with you, on that stage right over there performing, both together and solo. So to come back now uh, is really special. So thank right. you. Is it, uh, uh, you're welcome. Um, so, not only were you hugely successful, obviously, starting out together, but then you went off and did solo projects, also hugely successful. Get back together, and now you have the number one CD. Your, your tour sold out in minutes. I mean, that's a big deal to go away and come back. And I'm sure, especially because y'all were so young, people would say, oh, well, that was a phase, and people were, uh, you may not be able to repeat that. Yeah, we really didn't know what was going to happen. When we right. got back together to talk about the idea of doing this, it really shows that the fans stuck around and waited and supported us through the individual projects and what we were up to, but we announced this thing and, and the music took off right away again and it, it did feel like, okay, this was meant to be, we're supposed to do this again. Yeah, obviously. What were you gonna say, Kevin? You look like No, I'm just saying like, it's been beyond amazing to experience it every single night again where I truly never thought we were gonna do it again and to now have like my daughters be able to be a part of this and see it, it's just beyond. Yeah, to grow up, and all of you are married now. Things, yeah. things have changed. But so you have this documentary, which I don't know if you saw the document. It was on Amazon? Amazon. Okay. Um, it was really good. Thank you. Thank and, you. And I think that a lot of people didn't realize, and of course it makes sense, that would be really tough to grow up and be competitive and, and to, to have your differences and, uh, and to be together all the time. Um, but it got bad, right? Oh, by the end, yeah, it got really rough. Right. Um, you know, I, I think all families go through their own version of our story. Uh, and if not, then you're the lucky ones. But, uh, you know, you got to find your dynamic as siblings within your adult relationship. And when you compound the fact that we were working together every single day, uh, in theory, it was a, a business. It was a full operating machine. Um, and we were just trying to remain close as family amidst that. So when that decision came to end it, I think that the, the next step, which you probably saw on the doc, was just in discovering who, who we are as family yeah. and uh, actually building a relationship outside of our work and our creative life. And what we found is that we actually really like each other. Yeah. Uh, it turns which out. Is, which is a blessing and, <laughs> and took some convincing. Joe was the last to, to come on board. But really? Uh, yes. Why is that? Because it was your idea uh, to break up, your idea to get back together. Right, yeah. yeah. Full circle redemption. Story. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> I, was, I wasn't so quick to forgive Nick just yet. Uh, but we worked through it, and ultimately, I, I miss being on stage with these guys. It's so special and so fun, and there's a magic that happens when we get up there and perform together that it's hard to repeat or, or, or recreate, so it, it felt like the right timing. Yeah, and it, it, as, as much as it, I'm sure, is fun to be, to have a solo project, to have, to, to be able to look at each other and have that, that camaraderie, that connection, and get that energy from the audience, it's, it's compounded, I would, I would think. It's unreal. That Definitely. first night on this tour, it's called the Happiness Begins Tour. Yeah. Uh, our whole idea was let's bottle up the happiness that we feel in our lives um, and let's bring that to the world. It was a lot of negativity. Actually, I want to say one thing, too. Your monologue at the beginning uh, about accepting all people from all walks of life and different viewpoints is amazing. So hats off to you for Thank that. You. Thank you. Um, and I think the kind of... 
messages we all need to hear, you know, and, and that was kind of what we were feeling, was there's so much negativity out there and people judging others, and um, if we can just make people smile and just realize that, you know, life is a beautiful thing and we get to share that with people you love, it's a, a beautiful thing. It is a beautiful thing, and life is a beautiful thing, totally. and we need to remember that. Our next guests are three very talented musicians who happen to be related, and they're nominated for a Grammy Award this Sunday. Please welcome the Jonas Brothers. Good to see, see you. As well. yeah. So, so uh, you're still getting along. There's no uh, breaking up yet. Uh, no, we're no. to announce. Yes. The, the oh, the, oh that's right. Kidding. Uh, it's a really bad joke. Sorry. <laughs> that would be funny if, like, you got back <laughs> together after ten years and then you break Just up. Just a year, it's fine. For another ten. Okay. For yeah. another documentary. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so, congratulations. It's sold out tour. I mean, not only did you come back, but like in a big way. And I think you did not, you didn't not only lose, you didn't lose fans, you gained even more fans. I think it's a whole new generation of people, too. It feels like that. We gained at least two more with Kevin's daughters. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So, other than that, there was a, a few that came along the way, but we've, we just are so thrilled with the tour. It's been amazing, and uh, beginning, being able to get back up on stage together is, is kind of unfamiliar, but it, it feels good to, to do it again. And then you've had amazing people come. Who, who have you been the favorites that have come to see you? Uh, Patrick Mahomes yeah. came out, you know, about to play in the Super Bowl. Yes, he is. Um, All right. So he came out with his brother and his girlfriend. That was really cool. Um, a bunch of other athletes, you know, guys that play for, play for the Dodgers. We've now become friends with, with all these guys. Um, but we're looking at them like they're our heroes currently. But I guess when they were, you know, 10 to 15, right. we were theirs. And, and they're at the show drinking, having fun. Well, not drinking. He, was, he had a game. So he, <laughs> right. <no>. Um, <laughs> way to cool. go, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it happen. The odds just went way <laughs> up on that. <laughs> the gambling. Part of the plan. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> no. Just, just Mahomes. Jay, Jay Z Mahomes. came. Yeah. Uh, Jay came, and, you know, we, we work with Rock Nation uh, for, for years now. And he came out to a show, and there was a great video of him rocking out to Year 3000, which was. Uh, Pretty special. There he is. Yeah. Very but cool. But for some reason, this picture, it's just the worst uh, open mouth pose for me. <laughs> now, you look handsome You're anyway. It doesn't Thanks. matter. I was nervous. So, uh, I saw a picture of a puppy that your wife got you. Mm hmm. And it's a cute puppy. He's a beautiful. Oh, there he's he is. He's really cute. He's huge now. He's about double that size. His name is Gino. Uh huh. He's ripping up everything that comes in his path. Uh, he's That's not good. using the bathroom wherever he pleases. That's not good. Well, don't you um, have a trainer? We you do. You can't let him do we that. Do, but when he's that cute, you kind of just let him do it. No, wants. no. Yeah, he's, peeing, he's peeing in that shot as well. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he, he looks <laughs> like he's. We which, said the same thing about children, but yeah. oh, that didn't go well either. Uh, um, let's talk about the TikTok thing that y'all did with the Kardashians. Whose idea was that? Uh, that jokes. was my idea. Yeah. Uh -huh. He went on a deep dive on TikTok. He's like, guys, I've got it. He walked into the room and that's what he wanted to do. Yep. It worked itself out. I mean, I, naturally, I was supposed to be Kim, so I got I don't, them. I don't know why you got to be Kim. I'm just. And then you had to sense. memorize the whole thing. It was very good. Th thank you. Let's, let's, if you don't know what we're talking about, we'll show it. <laughs> don't be <laughs> rude. Are you kidding me? I Stop. swear to God. Stop. Don't be what rude. You throw doing? the thing on me. I'll fing hurt you. Don't do that. Stop. Oh my God. Oh my <laughs> Now, have they seen it? Because if they didn't like it, you could get yourself in a pickle. I, we could. They, they think, all reposted it, so they're, all, they're fans. Uh -huh. I think Chris actually posted it on our Instagram, so um, I, I'm pretty sure they're, they're into it. They're... We're just waiting for them to recreate our fight now. Well, yeah. The band breaking. <laughs> you have to have a fight. If you have a fight on the, on the, uh, the show right Today? now, you know, for that sure. just start a we fight. We stage one if you want. Yeah, you should stage one so that they, they can recreate. Why do you always get to be Kim? That's it? That's it. That's all we got. That's how you well, that's, <laughs> that's really easy. That's just one, one thing. Good, though. All right. Uh, you're well. performing at the, by the way, congratulations on the Grammy nomination. You too. You too. Oh, thank you. I'll see you there. Um, May I? <laughs> 
Are you performing at the uh, on the show, the we Grammys? Are. We, we are. We are performing on the Grammys. I'm excited. Great. Can I ask an ignorant question? Is this your first Grammy nomination, or your... it is my first Grammy nomination? No, no. Is uh, it my first Grammy? In the... <laughs> this is my second Grammy nomination. You got one third. third. It's my third. Um... Wait, hold on. <laughs> Terrible. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sorry. We only have two. So. <laughs> that, yeah. That's terrible. I, I should. But this is this is my my favorite nomination. This is. I want to win this year. This yes. is this is the year I want to win. I run into so do we. Yeah, all right. We also yeah. win all right. Then let's all win. Let's all right. Uh, we're going to take a break. We'll play a game. When we come back. We are back with the Jonas Brothers. Oh, my telomeres. Um, last year in their documentary Happiness Begins, we saw that they worked very hard on the relationship and how to listen to one, each other. So I want to see how well they can hear each other in our game called Say What? <laughs> this is basically like the game of telephone we played as kids, but you'll be wearing no noise canceling headphones, so you'll have to read each other's lips. You can only ask to hear the sentence twice. I'll read the sentence, and then you'll pass it down the line. The last person will come and tell us what they heard. Everyone put on your headphones, please. No explanation of why I'm here. <laughs> you're, the fifth Jonas, you're the fifth Jonas brother. Yeah, OK. Everybody knows that. All right. <laughs> There's no reason. We don't care. Oh. It's a good look. Can you hear me? Joe Jonas knows which brother will make their wife a mother because they are a really good lover. Read it? Nope. No. All right. Do you think all the Jonas brothers are married and which one is your favorite? <laughs> okay, I think I have it. Ready to go. Do you think all the Jonas wait, wait, brothers... Wait, wait, you gotta... And slow. Do you think all the Jonas Brothers are married, or do you think they have girlfriends? Do you think the Jonas Brothers are married, or do you think they are gay? Here? There? Yeah. Do we take them off, right? OK, take them off. Oh. All right. All right. What did you hear, Joe? <laughs> do you think the Jonas Brothers are married, or do you think they're gay? <laughs> <laughs> we got it? We got it right? Is that what you said? No! What did you say? I no. swore that's what you said. Oh my God! I think it, that's it what he said. <laughs> no, that's, that's, that, that's not what I that's said. That's not what he what, said. Is, is it close? No, no. It was Joe Jonas knows which brother will make their wife a mother because they are a really good lover. <laughs> Nick, you was, weren't even close. Nick was so far off. What did you say? Nick was pretty far off, but that he didn't say anything close to gay. He said, "Or do they have girlfriends?" That's what he said. Okay, but it's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go to break. <laughs> All right. Uh, that's that's it. We'll be okay. back. Hello, I'm magician Aiden McCann, and welcome to Aiden's Magic Corner. <laughs> now that I've met Ellen, I thought I'd take advantage of her impressive group of friends. I have a lot in common with the three guests I have today. We all break hearts around the world. Ladies and gentlemen, give a warm welcome to the Jonas Brothers. Hello. Hi, guys. Hello, how are you? Hey. Good. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Guys. Very good. Some magic. The other day, I asked my mom to give the deck a cut, and she actually cut the deck of cards in half. And then she went, well, if you're such a good magician, do a trick with a cut deck. So that's what I'm going to try and do today. Nice. Nick and Joe. Yes. Which pile would you like, Joe? I'm going to take that pile. There you go. Thank you. And then, Nick, you have this What happens if here. I also want that pile? No, I'm kidding. I'll take this. <laughs> <laughs> Nick. Yes. Right here, all of the cards are all different. It appears that way. Yes. yes. OK, perfect. What I'm going to get you to do is just touch the back of any card. Oh, you're the picky one, are that you? That one. I am. I right, am. Perfect. Sure. This is your card, Nick. That is my card. Hold it up to your chest so nobody sees it. OK. Right here, Joe, yep. all of these cards are all different. OK, true. 
And now, if you can pick any card, just touch the back of one, please. That one right there. Okay. That's, my, that's the what one. Was, this one? That one. This one. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Perfect. Trying to trick me. Oh, okay. There you go. Put it to my heart? Yeah. Should I look at it? Yeah, you can both look at it. Okay. Now, yeah. if I can have both of your cards. Yep. Perfect. Now, wouldn't it be impressive if the backs matched just like that? Yes, that would, be, that would be very impressive. Okay, we'll watch the faces. What? Whoa. You guys are also very connected. Wow, that was amazing. That was impressive. Now, How'd you do that one? <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Magic. Magic, of okay, course. Kevin, I'm gonna read your mind, okay? Perfect. Think of your birthday. Mm-hmm. Your birthday is the no November, November 5th. Am I right? Yes, you are right. Wow. wow. Nicely wow. done. Now, since I already know your birthday, I also got you a birthday card. Oh. To Kevin, you're awesome. Thank you. <laughs> we'll just leave that by you. Can I open it? Uh, in a minute. All right. Think of anybody else's birthday, like one of your brothers, um, your moms, anybody. Okay. Yeah, he forgets my birthday. You have it? Mm -hmm. What was the birthday? August 15th, 1989. Nice. Is that correct? It's correct. You guys also have a very good connection. We do. We do. Now, right here, all the cards are all different, yeah? Mm -hmm. What was the birthday again? August 15th, 1989. Okay, we're going to count down 15 cards from the top of the deck, okay? Great. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Nice. This card right here is your card, okay? Okay. The King of Diamonds. Now, not if, bad. Not bad. If your birthday was the sixteenth, it would have been the Seven of Hearts. If your birthday would have been the fourteenth, it would have been the Six of Clubs. But your birthday is the fifteenth, right? And you could pick anybody's birthday. Totally. And your card is the King of Diamonds, okay? Yep. Go ahead and open up your birthday card Ooh. that I made you. I cannot wait to see what you made me. There we go. Happy birthday to Kevin. Your card is the King of Diamonds. Whoa! Oh, wow. Very nice work. My favorite magician. Well, Jonas Brothers, are you burning up from all that magic? Indeed. We are. See you next time on Aiden's Magic Corner.